Okay, so I took apart my Pi 400 the other day, and uh, so the the heat spreader and the keyboard and the device. I've put this back in here just for stability, really. It doesn't need to be. It works fine without it. Um, but I wanted to show that you can't switch it on without unplugging the cable uh, because normally you would use the F10 key, which is the power button. Um, but if I switch off the Pi, so that's the Pi power supply, switch it back on again, nothing happens at all. Uh, I've tried function and I've got a power button here. I've also tried F10 because that works on this one, but none of it works. What you have to do to be able to power it up when you haven't got the keyboard uh, is to unplug the USB-C cable and then pop it back in again and you'll see that the light comes on. Don't know why it works like that, but it's uh, it's absolutely fine. I mean, obviously it's I'm not using it as it was intended. So let's boot that up. Okay, so I booted up and I've just been on YouTube a little bit and it's on 39 degrees. So this is without any cooling at all, so passively cooled. Uh, and I figured I'd try it with a fan and also with the heat spreader and introduce it, do the same test and see how much difference they all made, just out of interest. Uh, now I need handbrake, uh, which I think I can get uh, from the Ad Remove store. Yeah, so this is uh, something that can convert video files uh, and it tends to, because it uses a lot of power, uh, it tends to heat up the Pi. So let's hit apply. And while it's doing that, if I look on my NAS drive, because I've got uh, like a GoPro test video that I use. Yeah, this one here, GoPro Hero footage. So copy and let's just paste that on the desktop. Nice and quick. So if I right click on that, let's just see how big it is, just out of interest. So 137 megabytes, not very long. So I figured what I'd do is play a minute of video and then go into that uh, video and, and convert it. So it's already at 48 degrees, considering it's not really doing a lot. Uh, so let's go to settings and pop that up to 1080. And let's just let that play for a whole minute. So you can see it's already up to 52, 51. Okay, so that's a minute. I'm just going to minimize it rather than stop it and let it play in the background. Uh, so video and handbrake and open source. Desktop, GoPro, open. So let's go to presets and we'll go to Fast 720 and start. So if I have a look now, so at the top we've got 54 degrees, so it's ramping up, 56, 58. I'm not sure what temperature it throttles at. I think it might be something like 65, or could be around about 80. Let's soon find out. Or oh, I should have put the um, CPU on there as well. So if we go to panel settings, add, remove panel, uh, go to add and CPU frequency and add. And then if we hover over here, you'll see what it's on. So 1800, which is the stock for the Raspberry Pi 400, it's still climbing, 67. Yeah, so it's not throttling. There isn't really a danger. I mean, try this at your own risk, but there isn't really a danger in doing this because if the Pi gets too hot, it will throttle back all 70 degrees, still climbing, 72. It'd be great if it could get to throttling. Yeah, it's done. It doesn't seem to be going any higher than 74. Seems to be staying around about that, but it's not throttling itself to compensate for that. There you go, and that's done. So it's now, watch that temperature drop and drop and drop. Uh, so if I go into uh, the YouTube video that's playing, uh, you can see that it's uh, it's now starting to play a Linus video as well. So uh, yeah, 74, not bad. So let's close that down. Actually, rather than close it down, I think we're just gonna add a fan. So I plugged in a fan uh, into the GPIO pins and uh, it's on extract at the moment and uh, the temperature is dropping so I'm going to do the same test and see how it gets on extract and then on uh, blowing on to the CPU as well okay so fan on extract so coming up to a minute so that's 47 that's got up to I don't think it got any higher than that so I'm just going to minimize that so leave it in the background open source open that file again and hit start and let's see if it climbs as high as the other one did up to 58 up to 60 already hit 61 then but it's uh, it's not as high definitely not as high as the uh, without any cooling at all which obviously makes sense 
so it hasn't gone above 62 which is uh, which is pretty pleasing that's that's um, that's fair enough considering it's playing YouTube in the background and handbrake is going as well yep and that's all done so it's starting to cool down again so a simple change now I'm just going to turn the fan over so if I do it get the old centrifugal force as you spin it around while it's while it's running I want it to sit still <laughs> it's noisier like that I don't want it to uh, I don't want it to fall down while I'm doing it so I need to just play around with that cable so it's not adding any stress to it yeah that seems like it's gonna stay okay so fan blowing on to the CPU now and uh, if I go back into YouTube so 44 degrees and remember I'm just leaving the pie on now um, so I haven't uh, changed anything I haven't switched it off so it's you know if anything it's starting off warmer because on the first test it was starting off from cold I did another test with passive cooling on the Pi 400 and it is surprisingly good at passively cooling and I do love a silent computer so my new MacBook which I'll get soon on my birthday I'll get it uh, which is just before Christmas and uh, that's also a silent device and uh, you get used to it so actually the fan is quieter now um, I'm, I'm not as aware of it that it's blowing on to the Pi uh, so what we got 41 40 degrees have we done a minute we've done over a minute right so let's minimize that so this is when the CPU should start to ramp up so 43 44 47 it's still going up 54 I must look at a good stress test. I mean, I, I quite like doing it like this in sort of real world usage, so playing a video, converting a video, things like that. But uh, I must look at some of the stress tests uh, and see if I can really get it to go hot. So 54, 55 it went up to just now. And I'll play all of them together at the end, all of the, uh, all of the temperatures together, uh, which I've done in previous videos, because I, I kind of like that. You can see what it's doing at the same sort of time and how it changes. 57 it went up to then and this is pretty quiet I could live with that and so somehow if I can just slightly raise the keyboard because there's plenty of slack in that cable uh, well if, if this is cooler I mean if there's hardly any difference to the to the heat spreader then there's no point in doing it because the heat spreader is silent and there's no extra power um, but uh, if it's a significant difference then I suppose it would be worth looking at putting a fan inside now it's 57 just as it's finishing up Okay, so it looks quite cool, um, but I would, yeah. So I was thinking somehow uh, you could you could maybe raise this up uh, and have it slightly higher, but still have the fan cooling. Maybe have a little vent that goes out the back, something like that. Uh, although I am pushing the air down at this point, so maybe it would just naturally go out anyway. But you've got a bit of room on this cable, so you've got a bit of slack there to be able to you know put it higher. Right, so let's put the heat spreader on. So I'm just going to unplug this. And so I tried to explain the other video, but it was out of shot. So this is just, it's actually from a, a, a CD uh, sticker. And uh, it's, it's one of those surfaces that doesn't stick to anything. And it means that this is pretty much like new. Uh, and this is the little uh, heat pad that goes onto the CPU. And obviously, as this is in place, I don't really need to, to do anything special. I just need to make sure it goes on nice and flat. Uh, and then it will be back to normal. Uh, so there's holes at the front here and here so I know I can see it in the right way and then if I just drop that down and just give it a little bit of pressure uh, I'm not going to bother screwing these down because it's not going anywhere uh, I'm going to leave it as that so let's switch back over to screen capture and we're back in again so 33 degrees so let's go back and uh, oh, I can go back to it there look so hit play there So 43 degrees, oh 39, surprising it's getting cooler. So if I hover over the uh, CPU usage, it will be on 1800, there you go. So, oh, so it's, that's weird because it's dropping down. So it obviously thinks it can handle it at the, uh, the lower clock speed because it's certainly not throttling at that. Right, so that's still playing, that's done a minute. And let's hit start and see how that climbs up. 44, 47. Oh, so I need to do one more of these, don't I? I need to put the keyboard on the top to see how much difference that makes. Because obviously this, the heat spreader has got a great job because it is completely open. 
Whereas if you enclose it by putting the keyboard on top, that could make a difference. So we hit 54 just then, but it is keeping it lovely and cool. 57. Only momentarily it's dropped back down to 55 straight away, 57 again. And that's come to an end, so it'll start cooling down again. So the last little stage will be to put the keyboard on the top. Uh, so I won't bother plugging it in. And that will be enough. I'm not going to not going to click it right down because I might be playing around with a few more things before I uh, put it all back together again properly. I still haven't got the screws back in. So let's switch back into screen capture. Okay, so back on YouTube, let's click on that video. So 4143. And if I hover over the CPU just to show that it's, uh, if it's doing this, it's just going to stay on flat out all the time. So at the end of this, I'll run all of them together, but just show the uh, the temperature uh, of each one individually. So I'll make it clear which one's which. To the end now, so it will start to cool down in a second. There you go, all done. Okay, so that was a bit of a nightmare trying to edit all that together, uh, especially the end bit. So the end bit I'll show now uh, will be uh, all of the elements together. So uh, you can see here, so spreader closed. Uh, the heat went up to 58 degrees. Uh, the spreader open, so without the keyboard on the top, went to 57 max. Uh, on blow, 57 the same, uh, so pretty good. Uh, extracting the air away from the CPU went to 62, and uh, with no cooling at all, it went right up to 74. But I'll let it play, and I'll let you see what it's like. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.